Hello Internet, I'm back, and this time it's with a Nintendo Zapper that I have debogitated a USB cable and a programming header into. USB cable? Very useful. Programming header? Not. However, this USB cable now links this gun to a computer. The gun? Unlike the normal gun, which detects a 15 kilohertz uh, sync wave on top of a CRT monitor, so it would be completely useless against uh, most modern televisions, this one has a CR999 photo sensor. This photo sensor can tell color. So now, we now have a color gun. A color Nintendo Zapper gun. You might ask why. Well, it all started when... Hey Charles! I had an idea. Okay, so what if you made a shooter that was also a rhythm game? How? I don't know. We may not have known how, but we knew somebody who would. He was Eric Holnicker. He runs SavePoint, a retro gaming store in Westminster, Maryland. Hello, sir. Can I help you today? I have an idea. Go on. How about this Namco GunCon for the PlayStation video game computer entertainment system machine? How about a Nintendo 64? I now have a completed Nintendo Zapper here, except not really at all. And uh, I have on my computer here, JS Test, uh, with the three values open, the red, the green, and the blue right here. And as you can see, or maybe able to see, the red goes from about 97 on up to about 350 when I go over red. Green goes from about 100 and, well, about 136 on up to about 340 and blue goes from about 117 on up to 238. So it's working pretty well. I can even stand back over here and it still has very similar results. And actually uh, the blue is slightly more pronounced. Uh, actually, so, is, so are all three channels. So I guess that means it's focusing really well. Here I am with the finished gun. And I'm up here back at Save Point where they originally uh, gave me the gun in the first place. And I'm at their land wall. Right in front of me is this nice plasma television, and I have the gun hooked up to a laptop out of view. This gun, now being able to tell color, I can aim it at the screen, and it can tell the different colors apart. Of course, it has to train on this particular monitor, because different monitors have different kind of response functions. Once it's trained, however, though, I can click the button, and it now knows, okay, yes, everything's ready to go. And I've written a video game for this gun, and uh, what it does is just kind of have a bunch of squares that show up and you gotta hit them and it's like Beat Mania or 2DX or a little more like amplitude or frequency and when you hit the note it makes the, the track go and you can clear entire tracks. So, I'm gonna go give this game a shot. I'm gonna aim for the red ones first which has this kind of like low bassy sound. And I've cleared red. Now I'm going for blue which is kind of the, the background roads. all the tracks I'm good. I can also go reverse a little bit because of the accelerometer. And my combo has worn up. Now a new note has appeared. 
track number five. Yes, I am, but I gotta clear out the blue track first. That's the end of the song.